Hey everyone, Will here with my flea market finds for April 30th, 2017. Uh, pretty good weekend overall. Uh, not a not, nothing over the top, but uh, there was a lot of people selling stuff. A lot of people at the flea market, yard sales. Uh, first really good week uh, we've had this year. So looking forward to many more. Uh, so got a few things to show you. Uh, let's take a look. Start off, got a uh, beagle. Looks like a photo, maybe a print. Kind of a odd, uh, odd pose, but uh, love buying hunting stuff, um, hunting related. Uh, I think I'll take it out of the frame just to see if there's a name or something on it because it doesn't look like it, it really fits this frame. So uh, uh, we'll see about that. That was only uh, $4. Paperweight. Spent 20 on it, but it's got some pretty good markings on it. Love it when they mark it. That's a sign of quality right there. Um, Glass House 1987 with some kind of ID number, artist signature, cool looking piece. Gotta look that up. Uh, just a bunch of miniatures, all uh, nautical related. Little diving helmet, heavy brass, uh, nice wooden box. It's ten bucks for uh, everything here. Uh, nautical stuff always sells well and uh, uh, definitely some money to be, to be made there once again um, wish they had the calls in them but they're just the boxes uh, hunting related couple duck call boxes duck calls are uh, very collectible uh, got these for a dollar a piece um, probably sell them together in one lot nice little case knife uh, with the Kind of different, it's got the Craftsman logo on it also, but uh, case knives, very collectible, um, good quality. Uh, paid 20 for this, which might be a little on the high side, but uh, case knives always do well for me. Uh, my favorite piece of the lot, doesn't look like much does it, but uh, this is a World War II uh, theater made trench knife and uh, the blade is from a World War One knuckle knife you can see the uh, A.O. Lion uh, mark there so I uh, hope they didn't rip off the knuckle part to put on this handle uh, a lot of times they used like uh, uh, plexiglass from uh, airplane windshields uh, cut them up make them into a handle a little bit of a small handle for me but a uh, cool knife lots of history uh, the sheath doesn't really fit it but it looks like it's been together for a long time I'm gonna leave it uh, leave it with it I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it or keep it in my co collection I love the uh, love the old knuckle knives of uh, World War One um, so uh, Definitely a lot of history. If that blade could talk, it'd tell you a lot of stories. Uh, patches. What would one of my haul videos be without patches? A couple of those. They were like uh, three bucks for the pair of them. Uh, love patches. Uh, furniture folds. Always do well. Uh, Got to find the right person, and you can make some pretty good money. We'll put all that together. Even the little wheels. Um, I've had good luck selling just the wheels. Uh, do the wheels separate and uh, do the poles all together. Um, somebody will love those. That was $8 for all the poles. Uh, this is something I'm hoping will turn out to be good. I don't know how many is in it. Might be a hundred of these in there for all I know. I'm not sure. Uh, they're marked 1903 Harley Davidson 2003 100th anniversary open road tour. Uh, 
paid 20 bucks for this whole basket. How can I go wrong? You know, it's only 20 cents a piece. Uh, even if I get two bucks a piece, that's 10 times my money. What I'm hoping though is that I, you know, it'd be nice to get like $10 a piece. I might be pushing it for just a little. I think these went on the handlebars. The people that uh, drove in that. I did, uh, did some quick searching, couldn't really find anything, but uh, definitely worth a chance at $20 for everything. Um, maybe uh, try them in a quantity. Love the quantity listings. You, know, you just list them one time and they just keep selling. Uh, Got to do a little more research on that, but that could be a real sleeper there. Combination lock, still in the uh, still in the box with the paperwork and everything. Kind of an unusual co combination lock. Uh, lots of guys collect uh, locks. It's nice that this still has the box and everything. Uh, five bucks on that. Antique light, porcelain light. Uh, fixtures always do well for me. Very well made. Too bad they don't make them like this today. Fabric coated uh, wire, the porcelain uh, porcelain insulators. Really well made stuff. Uh, lots of people. Uh, uh, rehab in their houses and they want original pieces um, they come to eBay uh, pretty cool light I don't know if it's for a carriage I think it's for an early car early automobile uh, marked the never out insulated kerosene safety lamp patented Philadelphia USA um, Early headlight, I guess, safety light. But uh, I always have trouble selling these, but I can never pass them up, especially when they're cheap. That was ten bucks, and it's in really good condition. The mask, the guy that sold it to me said he uh, he thought it was a lacrosse mask. Uh, I think it's an early catcher's mask. Uh, Got some pretty good age and wear on the uh, on the leather. Uh, would look great as a display piece. I don't know why they took the time to just protect their eyes. Might as well cover your whole face sitting behind home plate. Uh, do a little more research. Maybe I can find a name like Spalding or Rawlings or something on there. Uh, but uh, um, that was only five bucks. The cat, I guess this is the uh, sugar and uh, salt and pepper. I believe there was a cookie jar that went along with this. Made by Lefton. People collect Lefton. Uh, nice looking set and paid uh, $4 for the set. A couple uh, chef knives. Uh, quality chef knives, quality knives in general always sell. Uh, the woof stuff, uh, the handles, uh, I don't know, not as good as I think as the uh, Hinkle here. But uh, the Hinkle is made in Germany. Some of the Hinkles are made in Spain, and uh, you got people that prefer the ones made in Spain, you got people that prefer the ones made in Germany. Um, they always sell either way. Uh, a couple marks on the blade, but nothing. Uh, um, a couple marks on the handle, but the blade's in pretty good shape. Uh, that was 20 and 5, so 25 for both of them. Frying pan, and it's a Griswold, one of my favorite cast iron pieces. Uh, Got this for four bucks. Uh, throw this in my electrolysis tank, clean it up. It's been some of these they chrome plate it and some of them they nickel plate it. This kind of it's got that look of nickel. Um, guess they did that to make try to make it a little easier to clean up. So we'll uh, we'll get it looking uh, good again, and uh, that's an easy $50, 60 dollar pan once I get it cleaned up. 
Christmas ornaments. Uh, Barlow, not sure what that is. But a couple White House ornaments. One I've never seen before. Uh, NPR. And this is the uh, first annual limited edition NPR collectible. Uh, cool looking piece. Uh, that might be a good one. But the White House ornaments always sell good. Uh, I'm pretty sure this will sell good too. Uh, another hunting uh, picture. Uh, nice frame. Got the guy there, a couple of uh, the pointers with him. It's a print of a, I wish it was an original, but uh, um, it is just a print, but should bring good money. Uh, that was $8 on that. Uh, take a look at this. Most unusual piece. I just couldn't pass it up. This is made entirely out of folded up business cards well not entirely the bottom is a piece of cardboard but uh, we'll call it 98 percent business card, folded up business cards it's just too neat and for three bucks how can you not buy that it's just so weird uh, have no idea what I could get for that but it's neat fishing stuff always does well fly fishing stuff uh, lots of flies uh, there 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 uh, we'll probably do the flies all in one lot got a reel I don't know if it's good or not Cortland made in England yeah, it's probably a good one and uh, fishing net lots of good uh, people decorate with those hang them up on their wall um, so that was 25 for everything um, might do well with those. Uh, there's some cool flies. Always liked the idea of tiny moon flies. Never got around to it. A couple more paintings. Uh, they're signed something Craig 62. And uh, what is this one? Gene 62. I guess it's Gene. Yeah. Looks like the same artist. Uh, give him a look, see if he's got anything listed. But uh, when it comes to paintings, original paintings, you really can't go wrong as long as they got a little bit of quality to them. Um, these definitely aren't masterpieces by any measure. Uh, but they do have a little quality to them. People love original art. You can't go wrong if you get them cheap enough because... Uh, if you luck out, it's a listed artist, you'll make, you'll make really good money. And if you don't, uh, you still can sell them at a decent profit. People always uh, like decorating with original art. Uh, last thing to show you, I got one bin of action figures, two bins of action figures, three bins of action figures. And it's a good thing my employee knows these because I'm at a loss but I got all three bins for $60 and there must be uh, 40, 50 uh, action figures in here still on the card um, so and we've got a bunch of loose ones in the bottom so uh, Always do well for me. Uh, the trick is you got to know what uh, uh, what they are. Like this guy, I have no idea. But uh, uh, my employee uh, has a knack with these things, so, so uh, that'll keep her busy for a day. So uh, it's got kind of goonies in there. Uh, uh, some of these probably, uh, at that price, can't really go wrong. Some of them are no good, I'm sure. But all you need is a few. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the start, definitely the start of the season. Uh, keep an eye on my channel. Uh, going to try to get some uh, more, more videos up. 
And uh, until next time, this is Willie Orton, Sales Survivalist. We'll talk again soon.